Hey guys and welcome to a new video. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make an overhead GUI that displays the player's username. I'm not making part 2 of the clicking simulator tutorial today. I might make it or I might make it later today or I'm going to make it tomorrow. So, let's get started. So first you want to insert a part. This part will be here to display our overhead GUI so in this part oops in this part you want to add a billboard GUI then in that billboard GUI you want to add a text label then you might see it's scaling up and so now in our billboard GUI just so we can see it we're gonna go into the properties we're gonna go to studs offset and I'm gonna make Y to 2 now if you guys wonder how to make it so it does not scale like this very weirdly you want to go into the billboard GUI go to size and make the offset both 0 and then just mess around with the scale to make it so it fits how you want it or it's as big as you want now it'll look like this for now then go into your text label and do the same thing make your offset to 0 and just edit the scale Make it one as you can see it'll be like that then for the text to not scale so funny you can press the text scaled in the text and there we go will not scale up so good now I'm just gonna make this same name for now edit the text how you want just gonna do a little bit of stuff all right once you've customized it how you want you want to get the billboard GUI out of the part and put it into server storage. Now this part you can do whatever you want with it. You can remove it if you want. Now in server script service, you want to press the plus and insert a script. Now our in our script, we're gonna get when the player is added and make in a pass player. So game dot player dot player added connect function player. Now we're gonna get the player's character. So player character added connect function character so we'll be passing character there now before all of this we should actually make a local and let's make this local overhead and this will equal to service game dot service storage dot billboard GUI or whatever you named your overhead GUI so after you've written all of this, basically you're making a, an abbreviation for the part for the overhead GUI. So we don't have to type out all of this. We just have to type out overhead and it'll input this for us. We're getting when the player joins and we're um, passing player, and then we're getting when the characters when the player's character has been added and we're passing character. Now we're gonna make a clone of the overhead. So I'm gonna write local overhead clone will equal and then overhead clone like this this will duplicate it so it can be passed on to many people now we're gonna make the overhead a clone or overhead clone we're gonna make so we're gonna make the overhead text to the player's name so overhead dot text okay let's put this before this overhead dot text equals okay this so these so after the after we pass player and get the character added we're gonna do overhead the text label the text equals and then we're gonna just do two quotation marks and then we're gonna do a continuation and then the player the player's name what we can do to make the display name too is display name or player dot name so if the player has a display name we'll display the display name and if the player doesn't have a display name we'll just display their username now we're going to parent the overhead clone so we're going to do overhead clone dot parent equals character so we're going to do player dot character or let's do character dot head this is getting the player's head this is the final script 
So now once we join the game, we should have a overhead geo on. That displays our username or display name. As you can see, it says Ducky for me because my display name is Ducky. Now let's say if I remove it showing the display name, if I just remove this line, I'm going to just make it display the username and I join. It will now only display my username above my head. As you can see, that is what my username is. So you can see there. So that is how you make an overhead GUI display your username. I hope this tutorial was helpful and thank you for watching.